सो ही गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू स्टाइल ऑफ स्ट्रिंग रैप क्लॉथ एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर 4.0 वर्जन सो फर्स्टली गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ क्यूब दिस वन एंड गाइस लिटिल बिट चेंज स्केल साइज सो प्रेस एस लेटर एंड स्केल साइज चेंज लाइक दिस एंड गाइस गो टू ऑन एडिट मोड सो गाइस सेलेक्ट फेस सेलेक्ट दिस वन and guys i like this one that smacks to it individually so guys increase shape like this yeah right and guys next one i apply this time guys bevel effect so press control b and guys bevel like this so guys see that's my breadth size like a 0.7 and segments are like 5 yes right and guys now i apply self division surface so guys go to one here So division surface check, and guys, I like number three and three. And next one, guys, select. Guys, I change little bit the scale size. So press one more time, tap, and scale size increase like this. Yeah, that's it, guys. And guys, now shade smoother. This one, yeah. So guys, next object I like round cube. So guys, go to on edit preferences. See guys, that's my search and type extra. See guys, that's my extra object. Check. And guys, now go to on add. And guys, I like simple this one round cube check. And see guys, that's my radius. I like one. And increase segment this one. Guys, I like sixteen. Enter. Yes. Right. See guys, that's my object. And next one, guys, select your round cube. This one. Next, this one and guys, wireframe check and increase scale size. So scale size increase like this. Yeah, this one little bit change. Yes, right. Okay, so guys, next one, I create rotation animation. So guys, select your this one round cube and guys, I like frame like a five hundred and guys increase. So guys, select your round cube. So guys, radius check and guys. Lastly, go to on here last frame, and guys radius like a one thousand, and one thousand, and guys lastly one thousand check, and press I and rotation check. Yes. Okay, so guys go to back and preview. Okay, so guys now this time I apply liner. So guys select your keys and press T and liner check. One more time preview. Yes, that's it, guys. Right? See, guys, that's my rotation animation. And next one, guys, I apply cloth simulation. So, guys, select your this one, round cube. And guys, I like this time cloth. Yes. And guys, go to on here. So, guys, select your collision. Actually, cube. And guys, collision check. Yes. And guys, go to back and preview. Yeah. See, guys, that's my simple. Close simulation. So guys, click on here. Yeah, it's looking really good. So guys, stop. Shade smoother. Yes. And guys, now I change some setting on close simulation. So guys, go to on here. Quality. I like fifteen uh, is good. And see guys, that's my vertex mass. I like twenty. And stiffness. Guys, all stiffness like five, five, and five. Yes. And guys, see that's my dumping zero, zero, and zero. Yes. And guys, go to on here. That's my catchy guys. Catchy end frame. I like five hundred because that's my five hundred frames. And guys, now go to on collision. And see guys, that's my quality like a ten. And self collision check. Yeah, that's it, guys. Okay, so guys, also go to on here. That's my field width. Gravity. I like zero. And see guys, that's my turbulence. Here trouble zero. Yeah. That's it, guys. Right? See, that's my simple cloth effect. Yeah. And guys, now this time I apply, guys, use solidifier for thickness. So, guys, select your round cube, this one. And guys, I like solidifier, this one. Yes. Guys, surface thickness minus zero point zero four. Enter. Yes. See, guys, that's my thickness. Okay. So, guys, next one. This one, this time, guys, I like shrink wrap effect. See, guys, that's my shrink wrap. So apply, yeah. And guys, 
put one here. So this guys, that's my target object. That's my cube. Yes. So guys, click on here. See guys, that's my target object cube. Right. And guys, offset. I like 0 0.3 is good. Yes. Much better. Right. And guys, go to back and preview check. Yeah. See guys, that's my shrink effect. And now guys, I like simple cloth effect. So guys, go to on here and apply this time subdivision surface more more smoothness and guys same three and three and guys go to on back and preview yes okay so guys lastly i like guys this time for scale size change so guys go to back and guys click on here and see guys that's my cube this one this one cube so guys go to on here and i increase scale size animation so guys scale size check and guys go to like a five second and scale size little bit increase little bit little bit yeah yes that's it guys right and please check that's it okay so guys now go to back and preview yes and click on here and guys one more time preview check yes see guys that's my simple wrappings See guys, that's my stretchy wrapping effect. And guys, all is good. And now, guys, I apply this time material, transparent material. So guys, select your round cube, this one. And guys, select material and create new material. Yeah. So guys, go to on here, transmission. Guys, weight, I like one. And guys, roughness, 0 0.1. Enter. That's it, guys. That's my transparent effect. So guys click on here yeah and now guys go to on cube guys actually also change color like a light blue color light blue like this yes and guys like a five yes yeah okay so guys now go to on here cube and guys create new material and guys white color to change dark blue like this yes that's it guys right so guys next one i apply background so guys i take plane and guys increase plane size so guys go to down like this and increase size and guys go to on edit mode select this edge and press e and g so up like this and guys go to on here and i apply bevel effect bevel like a 0 0.3 is good so guys segment like a 40 yeah that's it guys right and shade smoother and guys background color i like dark blue dark blue like this yes and roughness 0 0.3 is good yes see guys that's some background and now guys i apply light so guys i use area light and up and increase scale size like a 5 and power like a 200 is good 200 and guys next one i apply camera so guys go to on add camera check yes guys set your camera angle so guys like a 90 0 and 0 and guys location first one 0 and y1 change and y axis also change like this yeah see guys that's my camera angle and now guys this time i apply sdri image so guys click on here word color and use environment texture check so guys i have sdri texture so guys select and import yeah that's it guys and now guys lastly go to on cycle render and guys 256 render quality i like 256 and device gpu check okay so guys i show you my simple render preview so guys click on here yeah see guys that's a beautiful close simulation and beautiful transparent color so guys select this round color and guys little bit lighter yes and guys select your cube so i change color like this yeah see guys that's a beautiful transparent effect right okay so guys my final work is finished and guys lastly click on here and guys i like 30 fps and output 
guys go to on desktop and create new folder and enter and take any file name and accept check yeah that's it guys okay so guys now go to on last so guys select your round cube and guys go to on here that's my cloth so guys go to on last here and guys go to on cache cache check and guys see that's a big dynamic check okay so guys now before baking i show you my final preview yes see guys that's my really cool stretchy effect right it's looking really good and guys stop go to on here guys i create baking for final preview so baking check guys take a little bit time for baking okay so guys now i stop this baking because take lots of times and guys yeah and guys one more time preview yeah much better right see guys that's my really cool glow simulation and guys render and render image check see guys that's a beautiful transparent plastic effect it's looking really good okay so guys my final work is finished so guys if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel thank you